A five-game losing streak isn't good news for any college football program. Couple that with an internal investigation of the head coach and you've got a gridiron nightmare. KUJH-TV's Alex Dufek has more in our continuing coverage. KU head football coach Mark Mangino is currently under investigation. Mangino allegedly poked senior linebacker Eris Wright in the chest during a practice prior to the Colorado game on October 17th. Wright brought the issue forward to Athletics Director Lou Perkins, who held a meeting regarding Mangino's treatment of his players. Mangino, however, did not attend the meeting. On Tuesday, Coach Mangino said some people might have jumped ship, but the team was still on board. I haven't lost the team not one bit. I met lots of people around here, but it's not players. Mangino's anger and intensity are not new discoveries. But how different is Mangino from other head coaches across the nation? Andrew Bissonette, former high school player and current high school coach, knows it's important to understand your boundaries. Coach needs to be intense. I think that makes a successful coach. So if you are going to be intense, things, things are going to happen. Emotions are going to fly. So if in a drill or in the heat of a game, you do cross the line, I think you need to be able to step back as a coach and say, hey, pull them aside and say, hey, I did cross the line here. you got to be able to admit when you are wrong. You can't be right 100% of the time. Alex Dufek, KUJH TV News. An unbiased third party is currently looking into the situation.